Hello YouTube, it is I, the Amazing Carry Assaultus, with another tutorial video. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to install, uh, how not install, how to get a Quake 3 Arena working on Windows 11. And before we do that, I need to shut my door. And there we go, now my door is shut, now we can get around to this tutorial. So the first things I'm going to do is install the game. Since I don't have the since I basically decided to delete the files so that way I can reinstall the game. To demonstrate how to do this. So the first thing I do is install the game. And then you, and then we, and then we, after we've done installing the games, we run the games, both, and then we will be installing some source ports, and I will be showing you how to um, set them up with the firewall, and then. But of course, I'm not using the Windows firewall. So I will show you how to disable the Windows firewall. I'm using a third party firewall called Komodo. Called, called, called Komodo. And it is a very good program, actually. Way better than the Windows firewall. Proprietary, yes. But that is sometimes the way of things. And so, what you're going to do after you're done installing the games, the game, and, we're, and I'm not just installing the, the uh, arena base, I'm also installing Team Arena. And there will be a video covering how to get, how to correct um, IO Quake 3 which will be one of the engines that we will be installing on here, how to correct its major issues under a win modern Windows. So you just run the game Yeah, it's a little loud. So now we got the key on here. And so you can see we've got... And we're going to be doing Quake 3 E. Now how did that... Hmm. That was... That was a little weird. So the next one we'll be loading is Quake 3 Team Arena. So that way we get... So now they're loaded, so I'm going to basically go here, and I'm going to give you links to um, all of these. I've already gone ahead and downloaded IO Quake 3. I'm going to download um, the uh, <laughs> ARM64 Windows, wow. So I'm going to download the um, NEGW and MSVC, MS, 
VC builds, which are Visual C, I would presume. Which would be... And I'm gonna just take a look at these. We'll probably use the, um... We'll be using that one. But, I've already got IO Quake 3 here. And I've already had, had downloaded this prior. So the first thing we're going to do is going to now the folder. Now unfortunately, the folder is gone, not open anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to my computer. So, this is where I've got mine installed, anyway. So, go here. So, the first one I, I will probably install is uh, IO Quake 3, because that one is a very good one to have. I want to... Uh, it's removed itself. No, I already got the Quake 3 E in here, so we've now got that one in here. And then I'm going to install Quake 3 E. I'm going to make uh, two shortcuts. Well, rather, I'm going to make one shortcut. Um. Name this, um, so I've got IO Quick Three. So now we're going, I'm going to have a shortcut on my desk. My start, unpin. I'm gonna unpin that one from my desktop. And we got a true 64 bit client here, too, and we've even got a Vulkan client, but I'm gonna just gonna use the regular 64 bit. We're gonna rename it. Q3E because now we've got a Quake 3E. I'm going to add it to that and I'm going to go look some more stuff up. So the first thing is we're going to do is go to um, our Let's go here to base Q3. Of course, we got our key already programmed into this. Like three. Now I'm going to go and look up a command. This I add this sort of stuff in, but. What we can, what we probably want to do is instead load one of the other um, port, the one of the ports. Like, let, let's just load Quake 3 E. And it's going to ask. And I'm just going to load it. I'm kind of curious if it will load. But so this is to make sure it loads. And you saw my firewall came up and told me 
Are you sure you want to load this? Trust. Are you sure you can trust this? So I'm just, just. Hmm. So what I'm going to go to is uh, I'm going to show you privacy and security windows. Um, firewall. And as you can see. But we're probably going to want... I've already um, got my Windows Firewall disabled. So it's fully using Komodo Firewall. Because I would prefer that firewall over um, any other firewall. It actually does a better job than the Windows Firewall. So you can see I'm running Komodo. As it is actually properly fully running. Uh, Radman is, um, I mean, but we're going to have to go here then because the program has disappeared somewhere. I'm just going to load it here. Go here. The first thing I do, application rules. Since we're on the E, IO Quake 3 will be the first I add. TCP or UDP. Because it does use both TCP and UDP, I think. Quake 3 E. Depending upon the one you want to use, I'll probably just use that one. Same here. There you go, now we've got that, but I'm probably going to go and also include the dedicated servers. Now, since these use UDP, because that is a dedicated server, and being a UDP specific utility it means that we can do that we're going to go here this is I already added quake 3 e to that very good or using custom rule set good so we're going to be adding I owe Quake 3 to this. We're going to be adding the dedicated server to this. We actually set that for custom. Make sure it's a custom. Does it uses custom settings by default? Yeah, we can do all allow, but now file rating, it should already be in the file rating. <laughs> it's already in there, which is good. So now we have them all in there. We're just going to load this file. I'm going to look for for the this. I'm going to set this to negative one. Look for the custom Oh, there it is. So 
1800 by 1024, 1920 by 1080. So now we have widescreen. So this is load quick 3E. So now we got proper widescreen support. Now there, now there are many mods for Quake 3 Arena. As I should really get into more of Quake 3 Arena's mods and whatnot. But what we're going to be installing is an HD overhaul mod. Requires, um... So it does customizes shader effects. Or not, we're going to be installing HD. I don't think we're going to be installing HD mod then. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to be installing this. So we've got 2020. If, if this um, is exactly what I think I want. I just want to find out what this is exactly. Quake 3 Arena. Oh, interesting. So I wonder what this uses. Maybe not, but we'll take a look at some mods here. Yep, and those are the addresses, and I will be putting those in the, um, in the comments section. Not comments section, in the, um, video, and I forgot to add one more line. It's not added in here. We can add it in here. So we're added in there. Add it there. And since my monitor is 144 hertz, let me do 144. That 144 would actually be better for a monitor like this. So now we got 144, but I want to just take a look at the mods. See if there's any kind of like graphical overhaul mods or anything like this. Um, there is a model that I want to add. Open Arena. Huh, I'm Open Arena. Yeah, that's a very um, interesting thing, by the way, is Open Arena. But there's some, some classic mods here. The Dreamcast Map Pack. Pack. Map Pack? Yeah, we'll be adding this. I'm just, you know, just seeing what we got here. I thought this might be worth it. Yeah, we're running, uh, we're running a really good port. And, yeah, the video after this will probably be me showing you, um, after this, um, part, the second part of this will be me showing you how to get, um, Quake 3, uh, uh, IO Quake 3 is a master server thing to work. And you can only choose one master server. You can only choose one master server. With this. Um, because normally it does work. But sometimes you'll have issues with this. So if you want to install mods. Or anything like that. Or any kind of like map packs. 
that use um, .pk3 files, you can do that. So, there you go, now we got that. I'm going to go download a skin for a... Uh, for a... Uh, Quake 3 Arena because I like this skin. I am a huge... I am a weeaboo. So, yep. Massive weeb. So now we got some model. Now I got a model in here. Custom model. So I'm going to load Quake 3 Arena. Running at 144 hertz. But the video you're probably going to see is not the game running at um, at proper resolution, so yeah, I apologize for that. I name Sarge. So we're gonna do some like fine tuning of the game. Show you how to change some of those settings. So my name materials. Go here. A massive weeb. Gonna get the system. <laughs> you can change it into voodoo mode, which try linear. See, this is a really nice game ahead of its time from that era. Light map. We'll use light maps. Make sure our quality settings are set. And so now, I happen to have some stuff here. So I want to load it up again. See if it loads in widescreen. It does. Very good. And so the next video section of the video, part of the video, will be me covering the master server issues with IO Quake 3 and how to resolve this strange little weird issue.
for the lead.
the lead. Oh, 